Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy... Pseudomon type, I guess I'll call it? Anyway, last time I started things off with a bang, rushing my way up to Violet City and power grinding against a fuckton of unknown to evolve my first Pokémon of the run, Ralts, into Curlia, and get special attack EVs as high as possible. This time I'll be taking care of things in Violet City, starting with getting my first gym badge. Because unlike in the remakes Heart Home Soul Silver, you could just battle the gym first. In fact, I don't think you have to go through the Sprout Tower at all. Now, did I really need to grind up this much at the start? Honestly, I'm not sure. Because, yes, being overleveled is. It's not that interesting to watch, but Ralts really is that weak. Especially since the Ralts I have isn't very good ID-wise. Alright, so... In fact, well, let me put it this way. There's only one way you can get Electric-type in this hack before fighting Faulkner. And that is to trade for a flat up uh, for Amari in Cherry Grove City. I think you have to catch a Poliwag for that. So it's doable, but it's if it's above level 10, it's not going to obey you. Ah, damn it. Oh. Come on. There we go. That was the other thing that annoys me, because, of course, Mud Slap lowers your accuracy. Now, there is another reason that I decide to do the gym first, and that is because I'm going to be getting my second Pokémon very shortly. The first, of course, we get the Ember Mud Slap. Because, yes, although the movesets are based on Gen 3, the TM list is that of Gen 2. Which, uh, that has some advantages and some disadvantages. We'll get into why later. Like I said, well... You can't make calls, but you can certainly receive them. First, we're gonna... get everything here. And there's the guy with the egg, which we do need to get before we leave, I'm pretty sure. I think we're not allowed to leave until we get the egg, but... we're not gonna necessarily take the first egg right away. We're actually going to reset until I get an egg that hatches into a Pokemon, well, into a Togepi, with Serene Grace. Because the other ability is Guts, and that is basically worthless. At least on a Togepi. So I'm gonna save real quick. And now we talk to this guy, and we will reset until we get an egg that hatches with the right ability. So, uh... I'm just gonna cut ahead until it finally hatches, which that may take a while. There's supposed to be a code that makes it faster to hatch eggs, but I found it doesn't really work. Anyways, uh, give me a bit. Oh, first one hatches into the well, and we get the right ability. So yeah, meet Galahad the Tokapi. Yes, we're going with an Arthurian theme with the nicknames and. Uh, I figured, you know what, I'll just beat up some more unknown while I'm waiting for it to hatch. That's why I'm here in the Ruins of Elf. Plus, well, I'm gonna want to grind, give it some special attack EVs anyway. So, that means I got to skip ahead again, and I will be right back. Okay, so now Galad's up to level 10, after beating up a bunch of unknown, and, uh, well, this is gonna be kind of annoying. Because the only attacking move it has is Metronome. So basically we're going to have to save before every fucking battle. Because I don't want to knock it out since it evolves through friendship. And getting knocked out means it loses some of that friendship value. 
So, uh, yeah, this is gonna get really annoying really quickly. Okay, so let's go. Oh, right. I, uh, whoops. Yeah, um, I forgot to change it to, uh, set battle. Oh, well. I'll, uh, I'll do that after this is over. Oh, call mine. Good. Very, very good. Uh, hidden power might be okay for cherry tapping. We'll just get rid of growl. Okay, so, uh, now let's just change that real quick. Give me a second. Okay, so after we've healed, let's move on. We have an escape rope. Come on! Use an attacking move, damn it! Christ's sake! Of course you would. Fine. Be that way. Yeah, you're just gonna be a little bitch, aren't you? Nice try. And now I need to go back and heal once again. Now we're back again. Pick this up. Next accuracy. Wait, please win. Okay. What do you say, Confucius? I can see where this is going. Fine, be that way. Yeah, you are. Be right back. Okay, so now let's go and get this potion. God, you're worthless. All right. Okay. I don't feel like pushing my luck. We're going to save again. Now let's take on this guy. Honestly, not much at all. Well, okay, so much for that. And now we'll go back and heal one more time. Now we're back, so... Here's arrival. Nice fellow, isn't he? Also, yeah, this map is basically just the Gen 2 map tile set. Except the pillar doesn't move. Yeah. Alright. Oh, come on! 
dude. You, you're worthless. And you use one decent attacking move. All right, insomnia. Oh, fuck off. For Christ's sake! This is why I hate Metronome. I fucking hate Metronome! And it just won't learn any other attacking moves until after it evolves. So the sooner that happens, the better. Now yeah, well, we already got the gym badge, so let's get out of here, shall we? Oh, and while we're, while we're at it, we might as well go back to the Pokemon Lab real quick, because the egg hatch, which means we can go back to Dr. Professor Elm and get something nice. I mean, it won't really be useful to me, but it's something. Go. Now we go this way. Oh yeah, this guy could do a capture tutorial if you talk to him, but nah. That's how we get Neverstone. Not gonna be that useful to me, but eh, it's there. Like if I wanted to use, say, a Curlia as well as Gardevoir one when this Curlia evolves, I could do that more easily. But anyways, let's get moving. You know what? I think any any use of Tokapi until it evolves is probably just gonna be off-screen moving forward, just because Metronome is really fucking annoying. And, well. I don't want to take forever showing you grinding this stupid thing. And, uh, so, I guess Curly is going to be the one to, uh, take over when we move on to the next town. So, skipping ahead. Oh, and now that we've finished up this is here, let's... Hmm, cherry berries? Okay. And now we can also talk to this guy down here, who would normally stop us, but won't now. And that boosts your grass type attacks. Just evolve already, god damn it! Fine, be that way. Stubborn little bastard. Fuck it. Just fuck it. We're moving on. What do you got? Berries. Okay. Actually, you know what? I am gonna have you at the front of the party, but I'm not gonna use you. Offensively, we're just gonna beat up more trainers on the way back. The way down to Union Cave, anyway. Can't talk to that guy yet. We can later. I can't over put you to sleep. Yep, I am. What's it to you? What'd you get? Boron Berry? Yeah, the trainers aren't exactly like they are in Gen 2. Otherwise, that would have been a picnicker, not a guitarist. Nest Ball. So that catches Pokemon that have a that are of a lower level than yours. Yeah, this is why you want pickup. You get a fuck ton of these. Yeah, Splash. You know what? I'm gonna go back and heal. Back here, let's take on this guy.
And as you can see, the level curve is actually fairly steep. Kind of. Oh, fuck off. Don't even bother. Just don't even think about it. Oh, right. Hypercutter means you don't lose any attack power. Yeah, he did. Actually, there's a Pokemon Center down here. But we gotta get past you first. Ancient Power! Finally! An actually useful move, but it only gets five power points. On the other hand, Ancient Power plus Serene Grace means there's a pretty good chance that I'll just boost all of my stats. That would actually be a good one to use that PowerPoint Max on, now that I think about it. Still didn't, didn't uh, level up, though, unfortunately. Oh, fuck off, dude. Over here, there should be a Great Ball. Let's see, pick up anything new? Yep. Yep, so that's so we get the old rod. And there is there are a couple more trainers we'll take on before we end up this end this episode. Uh so well first of all that can item up here. Was there another trainer up here? There might have been. Oh right, I forgot to get the PowerPoint back, so I'll do that once we make sure there's nothing else up here. Nope, nothing. Let's, uh... Go hit that real quick. Yeah, uh, those rare candies, pick up. I'm just holding on to those for later. Next up... This guy. Yeah, I did! Now I'm going to beat you. Oh, how good that's going to do ya. Yep. See? Boost all your stats, but of course it's right when I win, so it's kind of irrelevant. Now we'll just go back down here, pick this up. Max Revive. That could come in handy. Let's just put that up here. And there's a scripted event right here. Oh look, it's Zane again. Yeah, that battle's actually totally optional, but we are going to beat him up. Anyways, I think that'll wrap it up for this time, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I'll catch you all next time.